Nine-year-old Dylan Johnson is staying in Tent City like many others. My mom, my dad, and my two brothers. All calling Tent City their temporary home. Johnson says he hopes to get back into a house for one reason above all. I'm getting sick and so are my brothers. The city didn't allow tent camping before the storm, but let it happen to give workers like John Storr a place to stay. The house I was living in got destroyed. People living in tents behind the Forest Park Methodist Church are asked to leave by December 10th. I'm starting over, you know, it's not what you plan on doing. Stort says he hopes to find enough money for gas to drive out of town. It's just, normally we always have a place to live, but it's been really hard. Unlike Stort, a lot of people staying in the parking lot don't know where they'll be going next. If people have a campground or have a tent spot, have a anything, and they can reach out and help even one person, I mean, that's a blessing. In Bay County, Megan Myers, News 13.